Hello Cricket fans, Banjo again. I'm here to run you through some of the new exciting additions to Cricket 22. Something these cricket games always do is add options, and this time around there's some great new additions to the gameplay mechanics. For the pros, the classic twin stick controls are still there, but the team have added a new bowling mechanic, giving you a more arcade aiming system. With the new bowling system, you can very specifically move the aiming marker to where you want the ball to land before choosing your delivery. Gone. Oh yes! How's that? Pretty good. So I'm bowling as Elise Perry and I'm going to choose an outswinger. A good line and length is about here. And this is where things get cool. The team have added an aftertouch system. So even though I've aimed this outswinger on off stump, I'm going to move it slightly straighter. Nice one, Bancho. The system works the same for spinners, and works great when you decide to let the ball drift out wide before spinning back, surprising the batter, and wreaking havoc. Oh! <laughs> one thing I love is what has been included in fielding. There's a new direct hit mechanic, which really puts you ball in hand, throwing down the stumps in high tension moments. The system uses cinematic cameras and bullet time super slow-mo to let you choose which end you want to target. Another part of the mechanic allows you to control the speed of the throw. If you don't give it enough, the batter may still get home, even if you aim it right. But if you overcook it, it'll go over the top of the pegs. The team have tweaked how a catch is taken and viewed. This now lets you enjoy that glorious feeling of taking a screamer in super slow motion from the front row. Oh yes! Add to this new bowling actions and animations, as well as the batting to spin animation system, which has had an overhaul, is something I think adds another layer of immersion to the game.